Hello friends, uh, welcome to Computer Tech. Uh, last in our last part, part number one, uh, we have discussed about this ticket app, and uh, I told you how to make the basically this sheet for interface for your app. If you want to design like this one, how to insert, how to put these text boxes and drop down menu also, and how to insert data inside these fields. And at the end, we have to send this ticket to a customer. So basically, we have to work out on this one: how to send ticket to a customer. And other thing is uh, how to uh, about summary. Okay, so when you issue ticket to uh, people, like uh, there are ten seats. So when you uh, mean means that you have ten customer. So you want to make summary of the tickets. So you can also do here. Uh, so no, you don't need to uh, work extra for this one. So from this sheet, you can also make a uh, summary of your uh, tickets. Okay, so this summary can be continued for one week, for one month. So it's up to you how you basically continue this one. Okay, so starting from this one uh, summary. So how the summary is working, and then we will work on the how to send tickets to customer. So first of all, let's uh, I'll show you here uh, basically how the summary is working. Then afterwards, I will tell you how to uh, make this one for your app. Okay, so this is like uh, I fill this form. Uh, this is like 01 ticket. Uh, I say it's uh, 2019-09-01 ticket. Okay, so and uh, name is now uh, computer tech is going somewhere. Okay, so it's his ID is this one. Yeah, let's give him seat number one, and uh, let's give him one seat for nine thousand. So one thousand is gone. Okay, so here he go from ABC to XYZ location, mobile number. Okay, so here uh, basically the customer you have he has called you from uh, mobile uh, from WhatsApp number. So you can put here if you, this is he is your regular customer. So let you have to save his name so in your uh, WhatsApp contact list. So from this list, it will automatically send. So for example, I have a regular customer whose name is UNK. Okay, so and uh, here is like uh, EF EFG. For example, any booking manager is EFG. Okay, so this is my uh, customer. So this is a real customer. This name is saved in my WhatsApp contact. Okay, so when I generate ticket. So all data is in here, and this is the ticket for customer. And if you look at summary, so here is the summary. Okay, so you can see uh, price, contact number, this person, and computer, and everything is here. Okay, for example, uh, now you see here also seat one reserved for computer. Let's make another one. Okay, so it's uh, like uh, now my second ticket this one okay so now that tech is going somewhere so it's in id this one and uh, let's give him s3 uh, seat number so they don't talk with computer okay so ticket price give him 8000 and uh, let's go let's say he's go also go from abc to xyz location and uh, mobile numbers i'm keeping same mobile number because i have to send this to this number that's why i have same you can use if your customer is different so booking managers are again EFG okay so again I generate ticket so you see now the second ticket is for our second customer the third is reserved and you see summary so there is a summary okay so this is done now let's send message to my customer which is UNK which is uh, yes the ticket number is 3 Okay, tech he is customer, so his number is saved like in UNK. So I am basically sending a message summary. Okay, so now see, let's see how he gets this uh, his ticket. So here's WhatsApp. So it's a wait time. Some wait time is in my program, so I will tell you uh, 20 second wait. Then after it will send message because sometimes internet is slow, so this thing will take some time. Okay, so here's my UNK is my username is number saved. So this I press. So you see, this number is going. 
Okay, so he got his uh, ticket. This one is I uh, old. I was when I was checking for this one. This is new. So this is a ticket. It's like you can see the time. So the time and you see here is 20:35. So the ticket is 25. So with this ticket he can show any time. So he will get uh, his uh, seat number. Okay, so this is for a uh, customer who is uh, sending who is receiving ticket from the Excel sheet. So now let's see how this is working. So let's go to our old this one uh, our program because this is the what I have done to show you and this is I made to show you how it is basically working how to make this one. Okay, so this is here now for today's design mode. Now if you guys show you so it's, you see this is not working because I haven't put any code inside this one and uh, for this one let's open this one so is our part one uh, you have to watch our part one for this all program because i already discussed so this ticket is already done uh, for testing and this is the what i have i did in my uh, video okay so first off i do uh, basically for the summary okay so you have to see this one so I have to basically uh, put all the data here then I press the generate button okay when I press generate ticket this means it should uh, copy the seller's data and put in, in the blank row so I have I have taken some limited data because in the form you can see there is many data so I have taken just limited data so which is in my need so you can add if you want to more columns so it's up to you i'll tell you how to do this one okay so coming here again so i open this one okay so when i press generate ticket it should also add some data in summary okay so let's copy the summary code i will tell you how it is working so around this one okay so i go here basically in the end I copy this one so here you see uh, there is IRO one variable which is wrong okay and there's other variable summary which is a worksheet so summary I declare summary is a this sheet summary sheet so this sheet is now uh, is declared as a summary one okay so this is a format IRO equals to summary dot cell find okay so this what is a is uh, what you should find so it's wild card means uh, any value if we find any if this program find any value in the row means any value here so it should skip and go to the next row to read uh, this program will search which row is empty okay so here and the search order so i have to basically search the rows which row is empty so i, I have to copy the data so if any row is not empty so it will go to next row okay so then there is a direction so it should be previous so it is checked from previous so when the old search is finished so the next search it will uh, it will see which is empty so it will stop so it's basically from backward it will see all the data and I look in the values excel values so basically uh, you this is uh, some default here which is excel formulas and other you can use so here i have to look values not any formula so let's say i put here excel values so it will look for values if some values in cell so it will skip it will go to the next cell so that we can have to uh, have empty uh, row and we can copy our data okay so basically this start row function uh, calculates here calculates how many rows are filled so, okay so for example if i see here the first row second row third fourth row so this means all four rows are the come already filled so the next row is empty okay so this program will count how many rows are empty uh, sorry it's filled so four rows are filled then plus one means fifth row so i row will be fifth row so this means the fifth row is our empty row so here is the i can put my data okay so this is a clear now i go again here and the copy some other code from this one back to here. here 
okay so now the now it's time to put our data inside summary sheet so you can see summary cells i row means now fifth row uh, fifth row and the first column so this one fifth row the first column so it will what it will do ticket text box one value so the text box one i'll show you here this is the text box one okay so this will put dead value here okay so dead value will be in the here here it will be value like in our previous summary values you can see here as a dead okay so likewise in the fifth row second column it will put uh, seat nurse name box 3 is the name and uh, i3 is the again third column is for now you can see from here it's ticket number so you see it's a box 2 if you look at this one box 2 is ticket number basically okay so like this one you can see box 5 box 1 2 3 4 5 values i copy and all i 1 2 3 4 5 is put here so this is the summary so if you want to add like a uh, if you want to add uh, booking manager who booked this one so what you will do you always use same thing you copy here put here let's change it to 616 six, and here the booking is I think it's text box 9 okay so if I see you it's text box 9 okay so this is it so now here you can add your last here you can add if I add as uh, booking manager okay so this is my sixth column so I will end the end I will show you how basically is working how it is working okay so this is for uh, summary and uh, let's go to our whatsapp message so again I have go to this one <coughs> when I click this so there is no any code inside this one so I have to put code here so I go first copy from this one okay so in order to save time basically I have already code so I will tell you how it's working so first of all text which you, which is like uh, your uh, ticket which will you send to the customer is a string and the contact number is a string so contact active sheet dot sales 18 2 okay so from here this is active sheet so from this 18th row and the first call co second column it will copy the contact number okay then text active sheet dot range a21 to k26 so the from this one to this one it will copy all the data okay so this is the method for the calling where whatsapp.com so this will open whatsapp and after it will wait 20 seconds if your internet speed is very good so you can decrease time maybe 10 seconds 5 seconds but at least you should be some time because if you know put in time so it will quickly run so it will not work so there should be i i suggest it should be more than 10 to 15 seconds okay so far in my case it is 20 so other thing is uh, when you see uh, when this whatsapp is open so you see when i press tab it directly go to search box okay so here is also same so when after wait finish then it press tab after tab it copy the contact number here okay to copy the contact number then after it again wait for five seconds then it press enter so that it can give him give the software some time because if you don't give time maybe the it will run so quickly so maybe whatsapp don't take any command okay so when press enter so again wait for two seconds then here this is shift and uh, sorry this is control this is v so when you uh, press ctrl and v so one uh, image will be copied so this will take some uh, here this one is considered the image so this will send to the customer if you want if you don't want to send image if you want to text so then what you will do you have to put a shift uh, means control shift and v okay control shift and v if you do this one then your plain text will be pasted so if you don't want you want to send image like ticket real ticket so you have to just press ctrl b like we you we use for copy and paste ctrl c and ctrl b okay so then again wait for two seconds then press enter so after copying this uh, then press enter the, and then this will be sent to the customer okay so here uh, one thing i have to add one because 
our this ticket is ticket one. So here I forgot. So you have to put ticket one because this is our sheet. Okay, okay. Yeah, because this is our. Okay, so this is all. So from here you can see everything is done. Now you can when you press uh, just developer of design mode finish and press in it ticket. So again test 2019-03 okay 09-03 name again computer is going somewhere okay so id 1 2 3 4 5 6 seat number i give in press 2 ticket price 8000 avc efg mobile again i put same and uh, it's a b c so the net ticket you see all data is here and uh, in summary you see now for the booking is also added okay so likewise in, in this sheet it was not added so i have it in this sheet so now see this in result says to the job so this sent to the customer Okay, here's two, sorry, two sub. So when let's send this ticket to the customer, so when I press this ticket copy to customer, so the WhatsApp way will open and it will copy the contact number here, then forward to the customer. Okay, so the here is our contact number. Uh, now it will press enter so the contact is open now it will paste the ticket here in the image form okay so if you press ctrl shift and v then it will be in text form so now the ticket is forwarded to the customer okay so this is the ticket which is now customer can show anytime and can get the ticket and everything okay so this was uh, all about for uh, this tutorial so basically we learn about how to make this form and uh, how to gen make this uh, user form and uh, how to put these all the fields and uh, copying fields that are to the okay, so and other thing was uh, for this uh, when we have made some animation so when the one seat is reserved so it gives some uh, icon it change its uh, this icon so before it was it means vacant now it is reserved so we cannot uh, use it so it's like uh, we can avoid doubling here and the uh, other thing was is uh, sending ticket copy to customer this is another thing which is uh, one great benefit feature of this app and uh, other thing was making summary so you can make summary of the every day every week uh, for the month uh, any time any duration so it's up to you and the last thing was uh, about this reset the ticket so when i press this reset so everything get reset and here when i press reset so everything get reset so it's like a new day for me so i again use this app for the new day so this was all for uh, this uh, ticket reservation app i hope you got it everything uh, what i told you so if anything you didn't understand so you want to ask you can leave a message in our Facebook page and uh, you can also uh, leave a message or comment in our YouTube videos. So till then, uh, see you in our next video.